We have learnt about the uh, VES production function and its uh, elasticity of substitution. We have developed the formula for that as well. Now, in this video, we will learn about the factor shares of this uh, production function. Before we go ahead, a reminder for subscribing, clicking the bell icon and liking the video so that this channel gets supported and people get more interesting and new material regarding quantitative economics. So, factor shares can be calculated on the basis of Euler theorem and uh, this theorem is basically stated in its general terms like this. That is the uh, variable, that is in this case it is labor and we have capital. So, the derivative of the function with respect to labor into its uh, actual value, that is the value of labor, plus the product of the marginal product of capital with its total value, that is capital. If we add these, we will get the output and the product of it with the degree of homogeneity. N is representing the degree of homogeneity. So, in this case, that is the case of VES, the degree of homogeneity is represented with V. So, instead of V, we know that uh, N can be used or uh, in general terms, N is more suitable. So, the degree of homogeneity is considered to be equal to 1. For the sake of simplicity, we have done this, regardless of the notation that is N or V. So, once if I consider that n is equal to 1, that is the degree of homogeneity is 1, then the answer would be this on the right hand side that only q will be moved. This q when shifted to the other side will give me q in the denominator of both of these terms, that is labor and capital. Now, I can consider this as the labor share because this is showing the marginal product multiplied with the labor divided by the total output. In the same way, I have this a term which is the capital share out of the total output that is q and it should be equal to 1 because the sum is equal to 1. 1 shows 100 percent. So, approximately it should be equal to 1 so that the labor and share uh, and capital share is equal to 1 that is total is 100 percent. So, the formula will be developed simply by using the value of fl because labor and output will remain the same as they are here. Only the value of fl is substituted here uh, that we have calculated in our previous uh, video. So, we can do some cancellation here, Q is again getting cancelled out and we are left with this term. Here, uh, labor is getting uh, reciprocalized here and the intuition for that is that we can write the answer in terms of capital to labor ratio instead of writing it uh, separately in terms of labor and capital. However, this answer is also acceptable but using the uh, convention, we are going to convert this into capital to, to labor ratio. So, for that labor was reciprocalized and it has appeared here. And now we have the cancellation of labor here and introduction in its denominator that is capital to labor ratio is now developed. So, we can see that the share of labor is a function of capital and labor both or in specific words the ratio of the two capital to labor ratio. Now, we are going to develop the formula of capital share uh, and for that we will use this formula that is share for capital is equal to this and it is quite similar to the formula that we used before. So, we have substituted the value of fk here, k remains the same, so does the output. Now, we have uh, the, uh, the harmony with the share of labor because in that we had capital to labor ratio. For that, I can simply uh, introduce labor in both of these terms because when I do, uh, capital will appear as capital to labor ratio and these labors, they will be cancelled out and it will become 1 here. So, now you can see the formula is in terms of capital to labor ratio. So, it is a function of capital to labor ratio just like SL. So, now there is a harmony in SL and SK and we know that their sum should be equal to 1 at least approximately. So, let us experiment with that as well simply by putting the value of F, uh, SL and SK. We should be able to get a value approximately equal to 1 at least. So, uh, a simple algebra should allow us to do this. You can pause the video and see that how these steps are done. And once you do, you will see that the sum is equal to 1 because uh, both of these terms, they are getting cancelled out. So, in this way, we have experimented and learned that the shares of the capital and labor can be found in the case of VES production function. And when we do, we get a production uh, function with labor and capital contributing into it. And we have done this with VES production function. Thank you.